Now the working pattern and the availability for work is driven by the standard calendar that we've already explored, but then each individual work resource also has its own calendar. Now this calendar can be accessed either through the project ribbon and change working time and then choose the appropriate calendar. And we might choose the plumber, for example, if we wanted to change his working hours. Or if we click cancel, we can come in via the resource sheet. Let's go for the plumber again into the plumber's information and change working time. Effectively, this brings you to the same dialog box, but filtered already by the plumber. So we can't actually change to a different calendar using this method. We can only control and change the plumber's calendar. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. We will end up at the plumber's calendar and the ability to change the plumber's calendar. Now you'll see that we can change firstly the plumber's base calendar from the standard, which is the default that we've been altering to either one of the other two built in base calendars, which is the 24 hour calendar and the night shift calendar. And that will then mean that the plumber inherits those working hours and therefore that availability. However, our plumber is a normal day shift person. So we'll leave him on the standard calendar, but we can adjust the plumber's hours just for the plumber by adjusting his calendar. So if we go into the work weeks, this is the calendar for our plumber, the default calendar, and we can break into the details. And it may just be that our plumber does not work Fridays. He's just not available on Fridays. He took a decision to only work four days a week. So we select Friday and set this day to be a non-working time day. And you can see the hours disappear from here. And when we click OK, in this top section where you get a preview of the calendar, you can see the Fridays are grayed out. They're non-working time. If you assign the plumber to a task that by itself would fall onto a Friday, that would cause it to then be delayed until the Monday when the plumber is then available. So altering the availability of a work resource can therefore make a change to your Gantt chart. And it might not be a change that is immediately obvious when there's suddenly a delay, but it's worth looking at one possibility that a resource is not available. So that's how to adjust an individual's resources calendar and therefore availability. So we say OK and OK and we're back to the resource sheet. If we go from the Gantt chart and project change working time, we can access any of the work resources calendars from here. So the decorator, me even, the joiner and the plumber. So if I were to access me and go to work week, so I want to change my default work week. And Mondays 8 till 12, 1 till 5. Now on each of these weekdays, I can actually work until 6. So I need to set the days to a specific working time. Now I'm going to change Monday to Friday. So let's select Monday to Friday by using shift click down this list. Set the days to specific working time, and I'm going to change the five to a six. So that gives me an extra hour's work each day. So a bit like the plumber, any tasks now assigned to me, I can actually do slightly quicker, which will help bring the end of the project forward slightly. So that's okay. And we can see here when you select a day, I'm now doing eight till 12 and one till six. And when we say okay, there is a knock on effect on the project. You can see things have slightly moved to the left. Certainly in the longer ones, that's more obvious where I'm gaining that hour per day. And you can see the tasks that have been changed are all highlighted, which is pretty much every task because of the ability for me to work that extra hour. Now under the adjustment of a calendar, we go back to me. So far, we've only dealt with the default work week. So these are the default hours for either the standard calendar or a particular work resource. Now it may be that I would have a different working pattern perhaps during the summer. So if I wanted to add in further working patterns for different date ranges, I would simply click into row two here, give the new working pattern a name. Let's call it summer for no imagination, summer. And then I set a start and a finish date for this particular working pattern. So let's assume our summer begins in May time and ends in September, mid-September. So this is now a different set of work weeks, which I can change the details for. And it may be that in the summer, from Monday to Friday, I can actually work until 8 p.m. 
making use of that extra light. OK. Now, if any of my project falls into this time span, so from May the 1st to September the 18th, then the new hours for that particular set of work weeks is applied. If it falls into any other time, then it assumes the default hours. So when you look at the calendar up here, we can see that when we're in May, which is the summer, it's using the summer work week. If I come back to April, it goes back to the default work week. So May, I'm using the summer, August, and then September, you can see it defaults back on the 19th to the normal default work week. So if you need a different set of working hours, it may even be for one week. This person can suddenly be available for extra hours during one particular week. You would add that in as an extra option to the default. And then the default is assumed when none of the other date times are applicable. And you can see here, you could add in quite a few different variation work patterns for different date ranges.